Hi there. I want to talk to you for a moment about haters and how you can deal with them. First of all, let's define a hater. It's someone who transmits negativity with the intention of hurting the other person. Now, to be clear, I'm not talking about criticism, telling another person what they can do to be better to improve. That is a good thing. It's not always pleasant. It's not always easy to hear, but in the end, it can help us grow and improve. But I'm not talking about that right now. I'm talking about comments that are intended only to hurt. So how do we normally react when we are attacked by a hater? What is the natural reaction? Well, if we are attacked, we must defend ourselves, right? Wrong. You see, when a hater attacks you, it's not about you. It's about the hater. Imagine this. You are in your yard and suddenly you see a mad dog walking down the street. <coughs> Drool and foam are coming out of its mouth. He's got an ugly scowl on his face. It's not a pretty sight. Suddenly, <coughs> it sees you and starts running towards you. What should you do? Should you fight with this dog? Or should you calmly walk inside your house and close the door? Hmm. It's not a very difficult decision, is it? Is fighting with the dog going to keep you safe? Not as safe as a closed door. Can you help this dog? Probably not. Can you protect yourself from the dog? Definitely. And that should be your priority, to separate yourself from the mad dog, right? And what should be our attitude towards the dog? Are we going to be angry with that dog because it's half crazy? <laughs> we should feel sympathy for the dog. The dog has a problem. The dog is in a bad place and we should have compassion for that poor creature. <coughs> well, the same is true for haters. Haters are sad individuals. They have a need to attack others, to try to hurt others. This is because they are insecure and hurting inside and they don't want to be alone. They want other people to also feel insecure and to hurt. There's an expression, misery loves company. This means if you are miserable, you want other people to be miserable with you. There's nothing worse than feeling miserable when everyone around you is happy. And that is exactly true with haters. So when we are confronted by a hater, we must remember that they don't deserve our anger. They don't deserve our aggression. They deserve our sympathy. So I recommend one of two strategies for dealing with haters. The best one is to simply ignore them. They are creatures who are suffering and we can't do anything to help them. The second option is if you can't resist engaging with a hater, the only thing that can possibly help them is holding up a mirror so that they can see themselves. And we can do this by putting a name on their actions. Simply describe what is happening from your perspective. The key is to start with the following phrase, it seems like. For example, it seems like you have a strong need to attack me. Or it seems like you are hoping to hurt me. Or it seems like you want an angry reaction from me. Well, if you are a creative person, sooner or later, you will be attacked. 
you will receive hate. And I personally am comforted knowing the following. It is very difficult to create, but it's very easy to criticize. So the next time that you are confronted by a hater, remember the mad dog. <coughs> remember that you cannot help this person and that your priority is to protect yourself. The best thing you can do for both you and the hater is to turn around, walk inside, and close the door. Thank <laughs> you.